Hello, my name is Michael Garjoy and this is Statistics on Reuse. In this video, I describe my consulting work for a consumer research show on CBC called CBC Marketplace. For this project, I worked on combining data from food safety inspection reports in multiple cities in order to produce a nationwide ranking of restaurant chains in Canada by their compliance with food safety regulations. People just love rankings, and it's important to produce them in a statistically sound way. This is one example of how that might be done. Our dataset consisted of compliance reports from five major Canadian cities from 2013. Producing the ranking is not just a simple matter of arithmetic. Inspectors use different standards in different cities, and average compliance levels may be different in the different cities. In fact, one or more of those things are definitely happening in our dataset. We also need to quantify the uncertainty in the ranking. Ranking chains in a single city, like for example Toronto, is easy. Simply compute the average number of major violations found for inspection, sort the chains by that metric, Obtain the standard errors in order to gauge the uncertainty in the, er in the ranking, and you are done. The problem is that, just like with the landmark towers, which are of different height, a major violation in Toronto is not the same as a major violation in, for example, Ottawa. What to do? The solution is ranking by the coefficients of the Poisson regression. We use a single inspection visit as a unit of analysis. Just imagine a, a random Canadian deciding where to go for lunch. This is sort of like an inspection. Data from larger cities, where there are more inspections, matter more, but that makes sense because there are more people there as well. We model the expected number of major violations as a product of X A chain and X B city. The larger A chain, the more violations are assigned to chain. The larger the city, the more violations inspectors in that city assign. It makes sense for the coefficients to combine multiplicatively. It would not make sense to say that, for example, inspectors in Toronto always assign one more violation than inspectors in Ottawa, on average. But it would make sense to say, for example, that they assign 1.5 as many violations. We ranked chains using the coefficients a chain or equivalently, but in a way that makes more sense, by the expected number of violations for the chain in Toronto using data obtained nationwide. The coefficients themselves, the standard errors for the coefficients, and hence the uncertainty in the rankings can be obtained by running quasi Poisson regression on the data. Want to know where to go for lunch? Watch CBC Marketplace this spring. Thank you.